Yeah, I'm back. All right, what's up? What's up? So, I read chapters twenty-eight to thirty-two, and a like, 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 like. All right, there we go. So I read chapters twenty-eight to thirty-two, and um, in these chapters we finally see what's that fool's name? Willoughby as the bad guy. Um, basically, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. A. All right, so basically we see Willoughby as like Wickham from like Pride and Prejudice because he is finally exposed as like the, the bad guy. Um, Elizabeth, not Elizabeth, the heck. Um, Marianne finally sees him at, at like, I don't know where, like some bar or something like that. And she sees him and then he basically ignores her. And then when she goes to confront him, uh, he was speaking with some other girl. When she, she goes to confront him, he said that he did receive all of her letters, but that he chose to basically, like, ignore them. And, um, Marianne is really, like, pissed or whatever, so she just decides to leave and she goes home. Um, and with this, we begin to see, like, like what I, what I begin to see is, like, Marianne's, like, super stupid. Like, like I like her, but she's she's dumb. Like, in comparison to Eleanor, she's just, she's like, an idiot. And in comparison to Elizabeth from Pride and Prejudice, she's just an idiot. Like, the way that she handles situations, like... I feel like it's really bad because she wants to share her grief with everybody in the family, which is like why why like I don't understand because Eleanor when when she feels when like she's told something that no one knows or whatever she doesn't go and tell the mom or the sisters or anybody she doesn't involve anyone, it's just her own problem. But Marianne wants everybody to know about it. I guess to like feel sad for her and stuff, which like really annoys me. But um, basically, what I like is that uh, Willoughby was finally exposed. He's not the man that he is. And then Colonel Brandon, who basically was. He was relevant, but he was kind of irrelevant in the life of Marianne. Um, he's finally, like, you, you start to see how, like, um, he's playing a much more significant role. Which uh, is pretty good because I, I kind of like him because, you know, he's like he's like the perfect match for her, I guess. Um, so he, we get, like, some, some backstory about him and then uh, we begin to get him to know, we begin to get to know him a lot better. And um, we begin to see how he's, like, the match for uh, Marianne. And Eleanor, like, we just see Eleanor, like, like, like still the same, like, mature and everything and then Marianne's just like a little lost puppy looking for love looking for someone to love her looking for affection and Colonel Brandon finally seems like the hero he's like the heroic man like I'm here to save you I'll tear that mm up you know what I'm saying so yeah um I like that um it's starting to like uh get pretty I guess intense we begin to see like all these little love romances and lo like love circles like unfold and stuff so um we'll see where Eleanor's relationship goes with um, Edward. We'll see where Marianne's relationship goes with Brandon since Willoughby's out of the picture because he's a dick. So yeah, um, we'll see what happens next. Till next time. Mwah.